Hey there, I'm David Dennison with Dennison Algebra, and I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about what math should my student take after Algebra 2. Now I'm assuming we're looking to try to get four math credits here, and that a student has finished Algebra 2 and still has some high school years left to take math. So that's what we're going to talk about here. The answer, of course, is that it really depends on your student. What grade will the student be in? How many credits do they need to graduate? What level of math do they want to achieve? Um, also, how strong is your math student? How motivated are they? How strong are their academic skills? And what are the goals after high school? Are we talking like work or trade school or even community college, standard four-year college, or something even in heftier? Competitive colleges, Ivy League, military academy, things like that. So you gotta take those things into account. Now I'm going to show you two scenarios. The first one I call the standard path, where a student has taken Algebra 1 in 9th, Geometry in 10th, Algebra 2 in 11th, what do we do our 12th grade year? Okay, these are of course are the big three. These are what I highly recommend. At least you get these three courses on your transcript. Most states, most colleges like to see at least those three courses. What do you do your senior year? Again, depends on what your goals are, depends on what kind of student we're talking about. A real um, basic path would be something like a consumer math course. If you need to dial it back, focus on some other things, we just need to get a fourth math credit and get graduated here, you might want to consider a consumer math course. Now, if you really thinking about, hey, I need something college, particularly like a four-year institution or something like that, you can consider a statistics course. If you need to kind of take a break, take, go in a different direction from the abstract algebra world, uh, there are trigonometry courses, specifically focusing on trigonometry, but that's a high school math credit. Uh, something like an advanced algebra and trig, which is sort of like an extension of algebra two, similar to college algebra. Um, you could go ahead and jump up in directly into high school pre-calculus. Okay, now that's going to be it's going to be a larger step. I would I would encourage that for motivated students, students with some some goals in mind, and you want that transcript to look to look stronger. Then you can do high school pre-calculus. You could also jump into dual enrollment, college algebra. And that could be a great experience. That depends on the teacher, of course, and the institution. But um, you could do take college algebra your senior year. Knock that out. Knock out some college credit. You could even take in the fall college algebra and in the spring college pre-calculus. And that looks really strong. That would actually give you five math credits. But that is an option there. You could also do some sort of SAT, ACT math prep course. That would keep you in the world of algebra. You would just need to consider how you want to count that and if that would count in your state as a, a math credit. So these are some options for 12th grade. You can look online, find some courses, curriculums that produce these things. As of right now, Denison Algebra does not have any of these courses available yet, but we're working on it. Okay, so that would be for 12th grade. Now, what if you're in a situation where you're on a little more advanced path and you had a student who took Algebra 1 in 8th grade, Geometry 9th, Algebra 2 in 10th, and we still need two more years of math courses. Okay, so that's where you could, um, you need to, you know, consider what you want to do in 11th grade and that'll dictate what you do in 12th grade. So again, you could do statistics, trigonometry, advanced algebra and trig, some sort of combination of those. You could do trigonometry in 11th and statistics in 12th or something like that. So those would just be some courses that are a little bit beyond Algebra 2, but not a huge hefty jump kind of thing. Now, a real traditional path for this kind of student would be pre-calculus, 11th grade, calculus, or 12th grade. Now, you might have a student that's like, I don't want to go the calculus route. That's a, that's a very hefty math route to go. This would be the honors path in, in a traditional high school. You could do dual enrollment college algebra in 11th grade, then dual enrollment pre-calculus in 12th grade or dual enrollment college algebra in the fall, dual enrollment pre-calculus in the spring, and then dual enrollment calculus in their senior year. So 
You've just got a variety of options here that you can think through. Um, again, if you are looking for, like we need to just dial math back, you might want to consider 11th grade a statistics course and then 12th grade maybe a consumer math course. So you've got some ways to kind of dial it back a little bit or really ramp it up. So real quick, just a very generalized summary here. If you need to, to dial it back from Algebra 2, consider consumer math, statistics, maybe depending on the curriculum you pick but in uh, the instructor, but that can be a course that, that dials it back a little bit and is not as intense as the algebra courses or some sort of SAT, ACT prep course. Now, if you're looking for taking that next step after Algebra 2, but maybe not a huge step, but just kind of heading on that college path that really makes sure college algebra is no problem, then you can take something like a trigonometry course or a statistics or even dual enrollment, go ahead and head into college algebra if you can get a good um, quality instructor that can make the course very understandable. And if you're looking to really step up and jump into the higher levels of math and really have a strong high school transcript. This is going to be tougher. It's going to require some heftier academic skills, but you can jump into pre-calculus or dual enrollment college algebra in the fall, and then you can't see it. it's under my screen here, but that says dual enrollment pre-calculus. Okay, ask friends, ask different folks in your community what they have done, uh, but hopefully this will give you some things to chew on and some things to research in terms of what to do after Algebra 2. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Bye.